What's up, guys, and welcome back to Days Gone. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. All right. I like where this is headed. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on. See if you can keep up. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go. I like Iron Mike, man. Seems like a good dude. Who's quick to forgive. I got Marsh duty. Protects anyway. a lot of people. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. And here's some freakers. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can let you do that. We can't... We can't sneak attack them? Oh, they're one-hit kills. Nice. Poor guys. Nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. Let me grab you this gear back Schizo here. You know what can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Uh-oh. We've got a swarm coming. Shoot, <laughs> shoot, dude. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is why you brought me out of here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. They're gonna go to one of those caves that we've seen before that the researchers are always messing about in. Dude, that is terrifying. What the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. <laughs> you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I always closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. I mean, that's kind of terrifying. So there's an endless supply of freakers right. coming. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. So where are these hordes going though? Like what's... You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. What's their game plan? Free up more farms. What's their objective? Irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? Probably don't have one. Oh, God damn well, you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde. This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. 
They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we shut off the cave? Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick a dynamite there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. It's like they're migrating or something. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay. Come on. Let's head back. Dude, this is scary, man. Ugh. I like the idea, though. Deacon's smart. Right. That's for sure. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. <laughs> Dude, always yeah, try to race. Okay. Come on, well, old man. When does You'll get dusty. When does the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? <laughs> Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? Well, Your that's an interesting ago, story. I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track him down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Seems like a good idea to me. I like it, Deke. I'm just looking forward to using some dynamite, to be honest. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do. Okay, but you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. I feel like this is like a future version of Red Dead Redemption. We gotta go get the dynamite to rob the train. Now nah, we're gonna go get the dynamite to kill the horde, baby. Here we go. You're supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. <laughs> See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. <laughs> you and I, Mike. You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without Calm down now, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it right on that. St. John out. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. All right. Here we go. Time to ride out with Iron Mike, just like old times. This is, uh... It's gonna be cool. Okay, where are we going? You know what they use to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. Oh. That's right, cinnabar. The extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion. Blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. Okay. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county. Keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building. The one in Sherman's camp. Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. 
Did I? I don't recall. <laughs> you were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? Here. No. Turn right here. This is it. <sighs> Mike. The place is gonna be crawling out. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Get my ripper blade out. Just follow me. He'll be on the commissioner. Oh, and, and shoot. you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Probably in his office. Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah? Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Oh, wow. Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. The preschool? Says called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. It was we a knew slaughter. What was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and well, they. Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days. the hell one of them wasn't me <laughs> commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit go get the key so we can get the hell out of here <sighs> disaster brings out the worst in people man this is you didn't give a damn about sealing terrifying the case. you brought me here be you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. So he's seen. Place is locked up tight. He's seen huge battles between. Oh, good job. Come between on. different factions, yeah, and he doesn't want to see that happen again. All right, it that makes like sense. Something died in here. Nudes. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. <laughs> It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Oh, shoot. Yeah. yeah. Were you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. My man. Iron Mikey. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm 
I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Hmm. If we throw that in between them, will it get them both? I don't think it's going to get either one of them. I'm going to throw it close to that guy. Nope, it gets both of them. That's all of them. Let's go. Sometimes they don't explode as far. But I guess that one did. Loot these guys, get as much ammo as we can get. Who's fighting out here? I got this. Freaks. They're fighting freaks? Bringing the whole goddamn town down on us. Do we want to take them out? Or do we want to let them fight the freaks and let the freaks kill them? That's how it's done. He's down. There Guy up top to the left. Grab the shotty. Let's go. Good night, buddy. Do the like slow mo vats, dead eye, whatever you want to call it, is so oh, useful. Yeah. There's a bunch over there. Do we need to go take them out or can we just leave? I feel like we have an opening to leave here. Got him. Let's go. All right, bro. That's the first mistake you made today. Running up on me. I don't appreciate that. Got him. Got him. Ah, oh, that would have been smooth. Come on, we needed, needed the three-piece. Come on, man. That one shot was like right in the middle of the circle. There it is. Take that. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, buddy. You thought, though. Jesus, what a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now, how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. I'm not telling her. All right, let's ride out of here, bro. Come on, Mike, get on your bike. That was cool, dude. I like having a co-pilot for our missions. Having a friend, somebody to rely on. I feel like, uh... 98% of this game has been solo so Why far. Why wanted me to see that shit? You know, Deke, I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. You don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Shoot. Good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. That's a Schizo wants to kill Rippers, because he don't good think point. they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. That's honestly a pretty good outlook to have, especially in times like this. I don't know, the Rippers are probably a bit of a stretch there. They seem pretty inhuman to me, but... I mean, I guess... This is the living versus the dead, after all, man. We need as many as we can get. You know, Schizo, he, uh... He wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh... He thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, oh, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way. To kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. 
He's definitely the most level-headed. comes for you. My truce will hold. You can bet on that. Definitely the most level-headed leader out of them all. He's got years of experience. Older gentleman. I feel like he kind of knows what he's talking about. I feel like we could we could follow in his lead. I don't know. It's tough. Because power also is, is super important in times like this. Power and fear and stuff like that. Like you want to be respected and feared. If you're super, super passive, like overly passive, I feel like that could be a, uh, a bad thing. Anyway, let's see what we're doing next. Drive to location on a Herod's birthday. Who's Herod? I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your truce ain't gonna hold. Now, for once, I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Hmm. Not anymore. It's a, it's a tough call. I can totally see getting along with, with Hot Plate Encampment and, and Copeland's Camp and stuff like that, but... I, uh, I just, I don't... I don't know about the Rippers, man. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? <laughs> Another uh, chopper coming in? Uh, Hilo incoming to that location now, be ready. O'Brien out. All right, time uh, to get sneaky, boys. That's why I'm here. Here we go. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. All right, we've been here before. Let me know when the LC's locked down. And this time, I need you to plant Standing those by. trackers on their helo. Their chopper. I know what a helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I got someone I trust working on that will know soon enough. What about the the pilot of the chopper, man? I feel like the the pilot could definitely see us creeping up right here, or maybe the maybe the pilot gets out. Brian, the tracker's set. Should be getting to lunch. Here he is. Now we're completing the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery. Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. They're right in front of a on. nest, dude. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them with wild animals we build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? I'm sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask him. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not This is terrifying. The proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, Give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Three nests over in this area too, if you guys noticed. This is uh 
I think those are the last three we need in this area, which is going to be convenient. All three in the gas station. Holy cow. We made it. On Herod's birthday. All right. I'm going to go back and burn these nests. Shoot. We can't crap the last one. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, god damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. So, boys, this is probably going to be an issue. This is probably a really bad idea, but we're going to go for it. Are you freaking kidding me? Time to ride, boys! <laughs> oh my god, did we get both of them? I'm gonna be so mad if we didn't get both. We got both. All right, there's still one more. We're gonna have to get it when we come back through, but that's fine. We can't even make the last molly right now. I hate- When you get time, swing by the camp, a job's coming. All right, sounds good. I'm kind of busy yeah. right now. Okay, I'll be by. Say John out. Dude, I hate when those hordes come out of nowhere, man. Eventually, Bear. I hope we're prepared to be able to take them on, but right now we just don't. We don't have the ammo. We don't have the, the means, the explosives. I know you can get, like, grenades and stuff in this game. So we'll, we'll get there eventually. Just not right now. Anyway, back at the camp. Check it on Boozer. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. So I can't stupid. Have visited just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc. Doc, seriously though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this? <laughs> Very funny, William. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good. That's good. All right. Well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey. I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Feels good, man. Appreciate that. I guess fighting that big Brutus of a zombie was worth it after all. Saved their best friend and a couple others. Good stuff. All right, I could use hands. A little bit more complete. Building up that trust with Iron Mike's. I'm trying to get to level two, dude. We're about halfway there. Um, ooh, weapon unlocked. Boozer's shotgun. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Hold on a second. Can we can we equip that right now? Where? <laughs> Whatever you need. See I our locker, it. primary Boozer's shotgun. So our our damage is gonna go up. Our rate of fire is gonna go down. What do you guys think? It's got a magazine of five instead of three. Yeah, we're we're gonna equip that, dude. Boozer's shotgun. Uh, good choice. Fill the ammo. All right. Might as well refill all of our ammo, to be honest. Yep. We need to buy some, uh, ooh, look at this. Frag grenade. Yeah, we need a frag grenade, flashbangs. That's useful. Med kits. Okay. That's all solid. We need some stuff to be able to make See more, around. more mollies. So we can, we can take those guys on. Anyway, moving on to our next mission. I think we are going to be doing a, uh, a bounty hunter mission. We've got to find the lynchman. All right, well. Let's, uh, let's go hop on the bike and get to it. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two 
bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. You gotta take a closer look. All right, so we're gonna have to uh, okay, let's see. do some searching What's here. What's going on here? Gotcha. Oh shit! There he is. Knock Lynch off his bike. Okay. Um. Come on. Oh, you're not gonna get away. You can't get away from me. Ran right into a log off the bat. This is a good start. Let him get away, Deke. One of them already crashed. I think. Something happened. Oh, no, they just threw a molly or something. Should we use our old strategy where we got off the bike and sniped? Because I feel like that worked out pretty well. I think we want to kill him. Or no, did she say she wanted him alive? Maybe she said alive, I'm not sure. We need to upgrade our bike speed, boys. This is, uh... I've kind of noticed that in these chase missions, we're, we're a little rough. If we cut corners and ride smart, we can catch up, but... We're definitely a little, a little slow. I'm gonna try cutting him off up to the left. Come on, baby. Getting some good shots in here. I'm not even going to waste my time with this buddy. I'm just going to try to take him out. Maybe we should. We've got four shots left, dude. Hey, asshole, stop the Going through a, a train tunnel. This is kind of cool. These always make me nervous. But I guess we don't really have to worry about trains coming, do we? Ram him. Ram him, yes. Ram him. Got him, let's go. Woo, dude, I didn't know if we were gonna, if we were gonna be able to catch him there. We got him though. Woo, how's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Deacon oh, starting to son of a bitch. Hey, hey, hey! hey Sound like Mike. Me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds. Maybe they'll just shoot you. You know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> sure you don't, bro. All right. Yeah, we 100% uh, we need to upgrade the speed on our bike before we do any more bounty hunter missions, because those get... I got get... him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Let's get someone out here to pick him up. We're, we're okay, Does though. he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. Sounds good to me. Heading back to Lost Lake. I'm going to say let's, let's go grab some fuel later. off the bat first. We're looking a little bit low on fuel. Don't want to make that mistake again. And then we're going to head back, and looks like we got a new job. Let's do it. Deke, you there? Booze, what's up, bro? Oh. He said she's heard enough of my whining to last her a lifetime. Sounds like Gaddy. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Dude, you got to stop with the puns, man. Seriously, it's like I can still feel. I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, that's what Eddie said. Fucking sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets pumped up. I can hardly hear him. Anyway, I, I gotta get going. This is gonna be a farm duty. I'm gonna see if I can uh, pay off the damn pain meds that Eddie has me on. Later. Farming one-handed does not sound like very much fun. I think he was saying something about how he, he has pains in his joints like after riding for a long time. But, um, man, he's, uh, he's going to get to know old, old Jill, old Lefty real well, huh?
Losing that right arm, that's... Uh oh I should stop for fuel. It's gonna be interesting. Something a little fun and unfamiliar. I think we have zombies closing in on us. Nope. Alright, we're good. Anyway, let's head back to camp and uh, see what they got next for us. I feel like we haven't heard from Tucker or Copeland in a very, very long time, and I feel like they're probably not going to be happy about it, but to be honest, this is my favorite camp of the three anyway, so I ain't mad at it. I, I vibe better with these camps than any of the other ones, so we'll, we'll stay loyal, baby. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah, there's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey. Yeah, hey, it's hey, not hey. happening, bro. Schizo, he can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. Yeah, when you get back, you come find me. How about no? Where? Doesn't matter. I'd think that that guy would be a little bit nicer Seriously, to us. We, we did his mission for him. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes. Never said it would stop him. Maybe slow him down. Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Maybe. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? I like these two together, man. I ship it. Still want to find Sarah, but these two are kind of cute. All right, wait. She needs to figure out how to walk, though. I don't, I don't understand what she's doing. Good, good lord. What would our, our name be? Deaky? Deacon and Ricky? A few Ricky? weeks back, we lost a man when I this went Deaky. down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God. Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it's shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can rut. No, you're not. Now we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with. Rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. I like the idea of rolling up there deep, but okay, whatever you say, Deacon. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, from the look in your face, you... <laughs> I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. Look at this cuteness. She's got a red bike, we got a blue bike. Riding out together. Oh, man. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what can go wrong? Following you. All right, let's do it, boys. I feel like, uh... Something pretty big is gonna Just go wrong. Follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. 
When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. The time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Well, Oof. Then, yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Wait, is she... Good luck with that. Her and Addy are together? It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? That's cool. You look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I didn't pick I up on tell that. You something. I uh look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow. You are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well maybe I never had any reason to. <laughs> okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. <laughs> riding with you now, aren't I, Jesus? You just want it out of our studio. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. You didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. Ugh. That's an awful way to go. Dude, we are right, really Dan's getting out here, up. huh? Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Dude, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I don't I don't like this at all. Whew. Well, it looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. Alright, come on. I want to check the outflow. Girl, what are you... Where are you going? Down here. Shoot, we didn't get any ammo before we left. Yep, that's gonna be an issue. At least we can open up this cop car, hopefully get a little bit, but... That is gonna be a problem. Nine pistol ammo, all right, at least that's a start. Can't even pull out our pistol yet. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. So what do we do? What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? <laughs> you figure men like Copeland? Probably. That's both. sad. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Dude, that's really sad.
No me gusta. Got those little gremlins up top there just staring at us. Should we tag them? Look at all these little things, dude. At least there's no full-grown ones that we know of so far. Some kerosene and a rag will take it. Oh, shoot. Why'd I Come say that? This. Come on. It's cold. It's not hot because it's not running. Okay. Hmm. You feel anything? No. It's exactly. not rumbling. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. How does this girl know so much about water plants? We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. Oh, wow. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Oh, she's a boss. You see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. She's the real deal, huh? Okay. Right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is going to be fun. So now wait. Oh, oh. Wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? Hold on a second. We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, we get naked? I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Dude, she's a okay. bamf. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. She gets things done. I can respect that. She's, she's cool. She's smart. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. D d see if it's vibrating at all. I feel like this is the worst idea for us to split up with you swimming in the water. Who knows, dude? That's one thing that they never really do. Like sometimes zombies can like walk on the bottom of the water. I don't think I've ever seen zombies swim. But, um, oh shoot, it couldn't be that easy. We, I've never seen a game about like, or a, a movie about like zombie fish or anything, you know what I mean? Like zombie <laughs> krakens or... You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the Transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. Mm -hmm. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I mean, it's only been like two years. It's not that long. She moves on quick, I guess. Hmm. But well, these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. The water's flowing, at least. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. <laughs> Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. 
Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use a scab. Yeah, this is where this is where stuff goes down. Here, dude. boost me up. This is where bad things happen. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Still can't pull our pistol out. Oh shoot, there's a nest of some sort here, dude. Oh god, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. I'm gonna start with the pistol and then switch to the shoddy. Which way are we going first, girl? More ammo? Time to burn. Here they come! Ready. This was a bad idea. Switch back to the pistol, try to save as much ammo as we can. Don't do the next one yet, girl. I ain't ready yet. I gotta reload. I'm gonna pick this up. Yes, sir. Make sure we get everything. An alarm clock? What? Gonna make sure I get everything, because we, we couldn't... We were out of materials to be able to make uh, Maltovs recently. So I wanna make sure we can make them again, yeah. Alright. Burn it down. Ready? Come at me, boys. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Part of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. Dude, I that's hope it. that's you it. Ready? Sincerely. Yeah. Okay. I hope there's not another surprise. There always is, though. So. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Would you just... Jesus. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke. Come on. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <sighs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. <sighs> God, Ricky, do we got to do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deke, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. <laughs> remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself, like you always did. And you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Aww. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is. 
Okay. And she may not be in the past. Sure it's them. I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Cab. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Well, here we go, boys. Let's get it. Stay put. Keep your head down. Double head. Oh no, it wasn't a double head shot. Dang it. Just drag your asses back to Iron Butte. Find the shit hole you crawled out from. He's down. Got him. All right. I'm just gonna rush at him. Here we go. It's Boozer Shotty time. He's gone. Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? How about we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Right. We need to we need to loot these guys. I need a little ammo. Couple pistol shots is all we've got here. He's down. You know what? We could we could pick this up for now. Oh, oh, that's that's a big boy. Okay. Got him with a headshot. Got him with another headshot. He's down. We've got three shots. One person left, though. Got him. I think that's the last of them. No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. <laughs> well. Oh, God. That was becoming a thing before everything went down. That's right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Dude, the Rippers are like Florida man. Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold. I don't know. Fucking Rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa. What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... Yeah? I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, I ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I feel like that was quite a bit of noise. I think, uh, probably attracted a horde. Wouldn't be surprised. So we're, we should, we should get okay. out of here. we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Gonna check all the lines on the way, make sure none of them are broken. Could I stop should be you? good. How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were you wanna hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? <laughs> it's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And, and by the by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. Wow. And when I came home, I don't know. I uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and. Um, Farewell. You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack, and uh, he ran the club. The uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember who was talking about him. He was in prison. 
prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys are pretty tight. <laughs> we got one transformer out. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? Yeah, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them everything. Because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well, let's just say that it's one of. The Ricky. What are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in these old machine buildings, and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Yeah, these things, they... I mean, obviously they're not smart, but there's some sort of weird thing happening with all the paths and the caves, and now this thing, that's like the biggest horde nest area I think I've ever seen, so... Okay. Gotta figure out the pattern. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. <laughs> Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. So she's seen him before too, but she doesn't really know the full story like we do. Anyway, job well done. That was uh, fun, I guess. Restored power to the camp. Well, not yet. Somebody's going to have to go fix that transformer, but um, overall, not a bad day. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off and... I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deep. Thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no. What is your problem? I just said Trouble in I'm paradise tired. over here. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Girls. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn that bell on. Ring that bell so you never miss a, a notification. Never miss an episode. And uh, I'm going to see you guys. In our next one.